Hiya, I am Dark Chains and welcome to my video. We continue our journey through Mass Effect Andromeda. to Eos in the Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Though not much yet is noted the starry scientist, Pelisar...
keepers wake from stasis, the initiative urgently requires blood, tissue, and DNA donations. See a medic if you think you may be eligible. This is HNS. I don't know about these Angara. Unlocking. Come on in. What in the world is this? <laughs> Ta-da! My project. She is complete. She? Looks like a she to me. Just a proof of concept. I stripped out its remnant command prompts to see if I could power it up myself. It worked! Now I can build a field model with combat protocols that fights for you. So, uh, what do you think? Have Suvi and Gil look it over. If it checks out, bring it aboard and fast track the combat model. Okay. I guess I understand your skepticism. Oh no, I forgot to lock the... Shit. My, my, Pelisaria. Didn't know you were still using this hole. Who's your friend? Kalinda, this is Ryder. Oh, everyone knows the human pathfinder. I meant who's your remnant friend? None of your business, Kalinda. Of course it isn't. That's what makes it so interesting. Don't be so hostile, babe. No reason we can't all be civil, right? Exactly. But you are kind of trespassing, so... Now, now. I was just concerned something might have happened to my dear old friend. I'm sorry for the intrusion, Pelisaria. I'm just relieved to see you moving on. Ta-ta. I'll walk you out. So, wanna talk about it? Oh, Kalinda and I go way back. We joined the initiative together. For a long time, we were like family. Now we're not. When you live a thousand years, Ryder, people come and people go. Entanglements are silly. Just like places. Time to pack this one up. I'm done with it. But how can you give all this up? Ha! <laughs> Watch me. Easy come, easy go. I'll pack up my new pet and essentials. See you back on the Tempest.
power out. Every step we've taken in Andromeda has been dangerous. The Initiative needs to defend itself. Aha! I knew it! Horizontal gene transfer. Incorporate new DNA seamlessly into their own genome. Meaning all living beings are just a big buffet to steal. Pathfinder, thank you for arranging my access to the cultural center. Mm, there's so much to study here. <laughs> ah, it would take a lifetime. There's thousands of years of history before humans even arrive on the scene. That would be a nice full-time job. But you've already got one. Things are still going smoothly without me to look over them? Work up. I wonder what my dad would think of all of this. Would he have encouraged the move? Come with us if he could? Does dwelling on what-ifs help anything? Things are the way they are. I can't just forget my father. Sid doesn't remember anything about him, but I do. I think he might have liked it here. A reminder that alcoholic beverages must be consumed within private quarters or at the the Scourge's drag on the ship. At least it keeps Aya hidden. Stars and skies light our way.
stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play a crowd. <laughs> She's the most shy. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the Resistance and the Pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. We made a good team. <laughs> we freed more than just the Moshai. But we had to leave the enemy fortress intact. We have a lot to talk about. I promised to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. You're still recovering. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Not without our help. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well done, Jol. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Jol has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Bad news. Your supplier, Keldo. The cat got him. Thank you for confirming how he died. You have his supplies? Keldo ran weapons for the Resistance. You were his contact. Good, good. Continue. Ephra asked you to test me, see how I'd handle myself. And I told him you were smart. The cat had your weapons. I got them back. Yes, all of them. And kill those killers dead. This is good. You're honest, Pathfinder. Reliable. I'll tell Ephra you did well. I appreciate it. I do want our people to get along. Help each other. You proved it. This time, at least. You need to get the weapons where they belong, but... Keldo would want me to help you. I have things you can use, and I want to see your credits for myself. Trade? Resources are scarce for us. If you'll take credits, I'll trade. It's a start. My inventory's open to you. Anything you need.
Hello. Pathfinder, I'm Enro Bosan, assistant to the governor. As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from highest people. I thought I'd proven they have nothing to worry about. You are one person. They want the Nexus to hear our voices. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you take a look and forward their communications to your people. Laws need revising now that you're here.
The Moshai will be waiting for you at the vault. While I'm here, maybe we can talk? Of course. I owe you that. When I first escorted you through our city, I wasn't sure it was the right thing. But you proved I was wrong to doubt. No. More than that. You didn't have to save the captives from exultation. I wonder if you realize what that meant to us. We're in this together. The Initiative wants to help. I want to believe it. You're so different from the Ket. What can I do for you? I'm hoping you can help me get on Ephra's good side. If I knew how to do that, my job would be much simpler. Sometimes it seems like you two don't get along at all. And other times... He's a brilliant tactician and inspiring leader. We just disagree on what's best for our people. He believes secrecy and isolation keep us safe. What do you believe? We can't defeat the Ket alone. And neither can your initiative. I have a few questions about your culture. I'm happy to answer them. Don't take this the wrong way, but this isn't your only city, right? Not at all. Vold and Havarl both have several large population centers. Aya has numerous residential areas similar to this. Are these places open for visitors? In time, perhaps. I've noticed that you, Ephra, and Jal all speak with different accents. When the Scourge first struck, there were many Angaran worlds. They were separated for centuries. We developed divergent cultures and dialects. Ephra was born on Vold, and Jal is from Havarl. What about you? The Ket left my homeworld in ruins. Those who survived were forced to flee. We found a refuge on Aya. My family helped settle this world. Aya seems important to the Angara. Aya is paradise. This world is a gift. We created the Vassal so everyone could enjoy this place, if only for a short time. The Vassal? The time of change. Aya's resources are too limited for our entire population to live here. We each earn the privilege of spending a few years on Aya. When our time is up, we leave to make room for someone new. The cycle repeats throughout our lives. Will you have to leave? Someday. For now, Aya needs me. Your people revere the Moshai. What did she do to earn that? After the Scourge, our civilization was in ruins. Those who led the rebuilding were thinkers, experts, and inventors. The Moshai is the greatest scientific mind of our generation. She led us to a new age of technological innovation. When the Ket attacked, she studied their technology, learned their tactics. You owe your survival to her. We owe her everything, and we'll do anything to protect her. So what do you do for fun around here? The Tavitan is a popular spot for recreational activity. Right, but what do you do? Can't work all the time. Productivity is the best form of relaxation. It's also a great way to get stressed out. You sound like my brothers. All ten of them. Ten? And eight sisters. They're not allowed to bother me at work. What's it like being responsible for a whole planet? I suspect it's like being the Pathfinder. Some days it's a burden. Most of the time, I know I'm where I should be. How did you become governor? Do your people elect leaders by popular vote? If by vote, you mean argue loudly until one candidate remains? Then yes. I got here because I was willing to endure and fight for the obligations that come with my office. Is there time in your busy schedule to meet someone special? Everyone is special to me, in their own way. <laughs> Not what I meant. Oh, no, that isn't a priority right now. Someday, maybe. I sense tension between your government and the Resistance. Who's actually in charge? Ephra likes giving orders, right until the actual work of running a city starts. 
The Resistance is good at protecting us from the Ket, but our people need more. I've learned to indulge Ephra's need for control, just often enough to maintain my own. Ten brothers and eight sisters. You have a big family. I've always thought of it as average. How many siblings do you have? A brother. Scott. What happened to the others? Our parents only had two children. Underachievers. That sounds... relaxing. <laughs> when my family gets together, the noise is like standing next to our largest waterfall. My mother says I became governor, so people would have to listen to me. Is she right? Always. Thanks for your time. Ishare, Pathfinder. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again, least of all thanks to you. Welcome to the Marketplace. I am Arbiter Renard. I enforce correct contact between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. Who decides what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. Where I'm from, the biggest trade law is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the Governor's office and the Resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. Browse my goods. You won't walk up. Your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I can do that. Good to hear. Vesteran? I was there when you landed. Watched you get escorted through the city. 
I get why everyone was on edge. I didn't mean to worry them. We've been through worse than the arrival of one human. I've never seen fruit like this before. What are these? Paripo. Sweet with a little bite. Sometimes if I'm lucky, I have a few Kiloa or Elmok. Is fruit scarce here? In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy your Paripo from me, it means you have something to celebrate. It's a luxury, meant to be shared with friends and family. Me for all your I'll get moving. Needs. They let you pass the gates. Huh. It's an honor, and I understand that. I'll be respectful. All right. Everyone deserves a chance to prove themselves. I'm not selling to aliens. I neither want nor need your business. Go away. New clientele is always welcome here. Have a look. I'm sure you'll find something to your taste. Can't hurt to be prepared. Maybe you've got something I'm looking for. If I don't today, I will tomorrow. Visit me for all your day-to-day -day needs. Exultation is just another word for how the kid kill us. And if you're wrong, if we've been killing for them without realizing it? I saw a cat up close when they attacked. It was nothing like our people. Ket weaponize their victims to make you hesitate. And when the Ket begin to exalt your people, what will you do then? Thank you for that. Insight, Pathfinder. The issue facing us is complex. Come, my friends. Deliberate with me.
Welcome to the Tavern. Town. Feel free to order a drink, or if you're hungry, we have nutrient paste. Not as exciting as fresh fruit, but you'll like it. What's in that stuff? In short, everything. Nearly all the food we grow goes straight into processing. We can feed an entire planet in a single harvest. Even ship some off-world. If we used your system, we'd never have a food shortage. If you want, I can send a few samples to your ship. Your people can study it. The Nexus would love that. Consider it done. What does Tavitan mean? My translator won't pick it up. It depends on the context. If it's a person, it means an old friend. If it's a location, like this, it's more... a place you could bring someone home to. What if you need to meet your Tavaton at the Tavaton? It's not so hard to understand. I'm sure your language has its quirks. Don't get me started. I'd like a drink. That's all for now. We'll come back anytime. We're changing tone after that care facility. Uh, Parthi and Gara are thankful. Parthi are even more suspicious. Let's try not to make it worse. Don't worry about me. They're busy glaring at Korra for some reason. Let me tell you about Helping the Moshi opened a lot of doors around here. Most Angara still keep their distance, though. Imagine seeing a Krogan for the first time? Maybe if I smile more, show my teeth. Something tells me that won't help. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah, blah, blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Apsha. I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. Asked for their hardest stuff. It was weird, which I like, but had almost no... 
Punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now? That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. It didn't occur to you there'd be indigenous species here? Sentience with a rich history, leading full lives? I guess. Even so, the Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? <laughs> nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. Thank you. Ah, you're right. I'm not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. That's awfully understanding of you, Ryder. You're a good... egg. Think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Writer, you are the subject of a detailed scan by an angar. Maybe I should introduce myself. Well, what do you think? I could get used to this. We take turns living here. You can see why. It's interesting that it works for your people. Not sure it would on Earth. Really? Hardship brings out the best in people. It's 
what I think, anyway. Rider. Getting lots of stares. Reminds me of being on Thessia for a sorry commando training. We're the aliens. For some Angara, we're the only humans they'll ever see. That's huge. Whatever happens, we'll make a better show than the cat. Pathfinder. Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons over my objections. Anything I buy will be used to fight Ket. You fight our enemy, but you're not one of us. Remember that. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. I assume you're the human everyone's buzzing about. If you're looking for treatment, I'm afraid I don't know enough about human physiology to be much help. Unless you can make use of the ion beds. If Jal takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angar and injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to upload them to your ship's doctor for study. Is there something special about the beds here? They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. Think it'd work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Our bodies produce a store of electricity that we can dispel in a surge of energy. We use it for short-range communication, healing, even combat. I admit, I was surprised to learn your kind doesn't have that ability. 
Some of us are biotic. It's similar, kinda. I would be interested to study biotics. I'll get moving. Ishari. you were coming. I prepared a data pad on our laws regarding war. Learn them. I expect you to take good care of Jol out there. I will. I'm sure he'll return the favor. Don't worry about him. You saved the Moshai. That earned his loyalty. Still wrapping my head around what you found at the Ket facility. That... exultation. The more we understand the Ket, the easier it'll be to hurt them. The more I know, the more I want to hurt them. What do you need? You've been fighting Ket a long time. Any advice? Your war's different from ours. It's still a war, and we're not prepared for it. Wouldn't matter if you were. The Ket aren't a conventional enemy. Any idea where they came from? A, a homeworld somewhere? Each of our colonies heard a different story. I doubt any were true. They came from far away. That's all we know. Ever tried following a Ket ship to see where it goes? Of course we did. Wherever home is, they don't visit. Do the Ked have a favorite strategy? Something we can exploit? They switch tactics constantly. Almost capricious about it. Makes them unpredictable. They must have some weakness. They're vulnerable to brute force. That's enough. The Ked aren't mindless monsters. They must care about something. Slaves, resources, power, same as any conqueror. You didn't see the exaltation process. Treat it like religion. They convert us against our will. That's not religion, it's genocide. Every culture has its purpose. Theirs is to take whatever they want. There's no official Angaran military, just the resistance? Lost our fleets and armies decades ago. Ket, mostly. The rest fell to... internal strife. We kept fighting, but our civilians were disorganized. Poorly supplied. Leaderless. Decades of aimless defiance got us nowhere. I had to make the resistance real.
How is the Resistance organized? Loosely. We operate in cells. Independent strike teams have better odds. If the Ket capture a cell, it doesn't compromise the rest. How'd you wind up in charge? Nothing to lose. My family was rounded up into a Ket slave camp. Last contact I had with any of them was ten years ago. They could still be alive. Didn't figure you for an optimist. What success have you had against the Ket? Enemy casualties are up 600% in three years. But that's just a number. Every time we destroy a facility, take out a warship, we give our people hope. And you're not fighting alone anymore. We'll see. I've seen armed people in uniform. They're not resistance? Are you police? Purely ornamental. Gives us the appearance of civilization. You don't think they're necessary? If things go bad, the Resistance will handle it. That's up to the Governor, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think of your Governor? She governs Aya, not the Resistance. Way to avoid the question. Is there history between you? I can always count on Paran to offer a... Spirited argument. You respect her. She holds her own. Not many do. What's your story, Ephra? You're not getting my personnel file. I just like to know who I'm working with. You want to know what it's like being me? I wake up every morning to fight a war. I send people to kill and die. If I'm lucky, there are more dead cat than resistance when I go to sleep. That's a hell of a burden. Enough personal discussion. I hope the initiative is making a good impression. The initiative? <laughs> Sounds so unthreatening, like a city planner meeting. That's kind of what it's meant to be. City planners don't walk around in battle armor with rifles on their shoulder. Depends on the city. My point is... We traveled through dark space to build something here. That's what invaders always say, at first. We're not invaders. Of course. I'll let you get back to it. Good. Move Team Veyon to replace them. No, oh, Six Nine is too unstable. They'll be out of food in two days. At ammo in three. They have to fall back. Sounds like you've got trouble. Too many kept, not enough resistance. I have a team that's been in the field for six months without resupply. They won't come in. Say they're close to taking down a kept outpost, but I don't know. If they could do it alone, they would have by now. Send reinforcements. Getting the enemy in one place leaves us vulnerable elsewhere. But you're right. This is the hardest part of my job. Thank you for the advice, Pathfinder. And that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get notifications on this Mattis Effect Andromeda journey.